Hello, this is John Bohan of History to History. In this segment, we'll be going over 10 facts of the Knights Templar with group 11 through 20. 11. The Battle of Montgasard in 1177 was one of their greatest victories of the Crusades, as 8th Grand Master Odo de Saint Armand led 80 Templar Knights, along with 375 other Knights, led by Rinald of Chantillon, and a few thousand infantry against the forces of Saladin and his 27,000 men. Saladin was the Sultan of Egypt and Syria and founder of the Ayyubid dynasty. His forces were spread thin, raiding villages, and was surprised at Montgasard by 16 year old King Baldwin IV and his army. Baldwin wanted to make a stand there before the Muslims reached Jerusalem. The much smaller army routed the Ayyubids, and Saladin returned to Egypt to regroup with only 10% of his army. 12. There were 23 total Grand Masters of the Knights Templar, spanning from Hugh de Paines, who served from 1118 to 1136, to Jacques de Molay, who served from 1292 to 1314. 13. The Knights Templar fought in many battles defending the Latin Kingdom of Jerusalem from 1145 with the Second Crusade through the fall of Acre in 1291. Over that span, over 20,000 Templars died. One contributing factor to their high fatalities was their reputation of being the first in the battle and the last to leave. 14. The Knights Templar had an initiation ritual which drew on their Christian roots by having the initiate act out a symbolic death and resurrection. A skull and two crossed thigh bones were used in the ritual and they became an important symbol for the Templars. The symbol could be found on the tombstones of the Templars and on their flag. 15. Knights Templar number grew in England, and when the Grand Master was not present, the prior of the temple was the next in the chain of command. His position also was also called the Vice Regent of the Master. When the numbers swelled, sub priors were appointed, and the Vice Regent became the Grand Prior, and later the Master of the Temple. 16. The Knights Templar followed the rule of St. Benedict when they established the order. It had 73 chapters set forth by St. Benedict around 53 AD for his monks to follow. 17. The Knights Templar built their first church in 1128 on donated land in the Holborn area of London, England. It was established by First Grand Master Hugh de Paines. The original temple was the first round church, and the grounds also contained gardens, orchard, and a cemetery. It became known as the Old Temple when the Templars later moved to a, a location to the south. 18. The Knights Templar helped Portugal, Portugal gain its independence as the first nation state in Europe. Bernard de Clairvaux was the nephew of both Andre de Montbard and Dom Henrique. Andre Montbard was one of the founder Templars, and Dom Henrique was the father of Portugal's first king, Alfonso I. 19. There were many criminal knights who were forced to join the Templars as rehabilitation. It was seen as a twofold benefit, with the undesirable element out of the communities, and it gave more forces to fight in the Crusades. The most famous was a knight named Bertrand, Bertrand, who had killed a bishop in 1224, and Pope Honorus III told the Templars to accept him into the order for seven years to do his penance. And 20. While the initial pilgrimages to the Holy Land were by land routes, the next Templar took many groups by a sea on their own ships. From the port in Venice, Italy, it took about six weeks to reach the to reach the Holy Land. As always, you can find each of these individually on my blog, History Twistery. Until next time, this is John Bohan.